It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood A beautiful day for a neighbor Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood A neighborly day for a beauty Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor Just like you I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you So let's make the most of this beautiful day Since we're together we might as well say Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Mandy Hale has been kind enough to tell me what inspires her to write and what her writer's New Year's resolutions are. Hey Shelby, I hope you're having a very Merry Christmas in your little corner of the world. I wanted to respond to your question about what inspires me to write first and foremost. And honestly, my life. Everything I write is based on either something that has happened to me in my life or something that has happened to one of my friends or family members or someone that I'm close to. Um, in terms of New Year's resolutions to set for yourself as a writer, here's the thing. We tend to get really overcomplicated with our New Year's resolutions that it gets so unmanageable, we feel overwhelmed, and by January 2nd or 3rd, we've already given up. One decade ago, way back in... 2009, I set a New Year's resolution, a very simple New Year's resolution, to write more. Within two years of that New Year's resolution, my entire career path had changed. Within three years of that New Year's resolution, I had my first book out on shelves. So keep it simple. Write once a day, even if it's just something that you put in your little notepad on your phone, or if you Pick one social media platform, Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, and choose to start pouring out your heart and your thoughts there. Now we will be needing trolley to help us end up in our next destination, the land of make-believe. Today we will be pretending that Pup wants to hang out with Cat, but Cat only wants to read books. So we will be exploring that into the land of make-believe. Trolley, take us there. Hey cat, how's it going? Let's run to the park and play and talk to all the animals in the neighborhood. No, I just want to lay at home and relax with a good book tonight. A book? Gross, that isn't any fun. Why would you want to go read about life when you can go live it? I've already talked to my friend Cow today, and now I'm done socializing. Cow, that's all? Just one animal? Don't you want to meet up with Dolphin and Barry and Kangarooey? Uh, no. Dolphin is kind of annoying, and, uh... Always screeching, and Barry is too hyper since he's trying to sleep all the time, and Kangarooey bounces everywhere. Well, will you just hang out with me then? No, we have nothing in common. What's going on there, pup? Cat doesn't want to hang out with me. Well, do you like anything Cat likes to do? No, not really. Cat likes to read books. Do you know what kind of books? No. Did you ask? No, I just said how books are not as great as experiencing life. Well, if you act like that, Cat will never like you. You'll have to give books a chance. Fine, I will go and ask about the book and take a look at it. You want to borrow one of my books? You want to shred it? No, I just need to see what you are reading and why you think it is more fascinating than me. Oh, trust me, you are fascinating enough. Really? That's the best thing you could ever say to me. Wow, Cat, this really is fascinating, and now I know how to get you to hang out with everyone else. We can roleplay from your books. 
We can even make a stage and everything. Wow, that's actually a fun idea. Your magic is no match for my cunning wits. With magic, I can wish wits. Oh, Molly thinks she can outsmart everyone. What Barry, Pup, and Cat have been accomplishing is acting. And here today to tell us about their acting in the wonderful classic show, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, is Melissa Joan Hart. Shelby, hi! It's Melissa Joan Hart. So I love that you love Sabrina. Sabrina is very close to my heart. Um, I was her for seven years and been talking about her ever since. Um, it's funny, I just showed my son um, the show the other day for the first time. He watched like one before, but um, I think it was the one with his dad in it, which was season seven, episode one. So if you see that one, you'll see my husband in it, Course of Nature. Um, but I showed my son episode one, two, and I think three the other day. And uh, it was really fun to watch. I turned Libby into a pineapple and... What else did I do? Some crazy stuff. Some fun stuff. Some really memorable stuff. Um, that first episode, I didn't realize like how much in that episode, how much is in that episode, really. I guess I thought that, like, the I'm normal, I've got to go tell the cat. I thought that was, like, from a later episode and stuff like that. So it was really cool um, to watch it again. So thank you. I'm so glad it's your favorite show. And uh, I just want to say, have a happy new year. I hope that 2020 makes all your dreams come true. And just sending you so much love for the holidays, and especially for next year. Mwah. I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful new year, and I am praying and believing for blessings and love and happiness to abound for you in 2020 and this new decade. Again, Shelby, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I wish you the best. <laughs>